Hi there. Uh, in this screencast, I'm going to use brackets to create an index.html file, which I'll save inside of my root website folder structure. So I'll save it inside of a folder called Lander, which is my last name, alongside a folder called Images, and alongside a folder called CSS. Um, I'll then unpack the image that I've downloaded from uh, the Learn website in that website folder they'll go inside of the images folder when I unpack them. Uh, first of all I'm just going to quickly change a couple of things about brackets so right now you see that I have a little green present that means that there's a new build of brackets available so I'll quickly download that. So I'm going to download this I'll say get it now and then I'll install it. I'll just uh, pause while it's downloading and then I'll install it. Alright, the update is almost downloaded there and I'll just quickly restart brackets. Just takes a moment, I'll pause it until it restarts. So it's just installing the update. I'll just pause it while it does its thing so you don't need to watch all of this. And it should be installed briefly. And my update is successful. So the little uh, green present is gone. Um, we also have this extension manager, and there's a bunch of extensions that I find very compelling that are available. Uh, SAS, autocompile, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you can peruse. I'm not going to install any extensions myself. Uh, I believe Tanya has a few that she likes to use, but I couldn't find any reference to those. But there's a bunch of stuff that uh, in a production setting I would use, certainly. But for the purposes of instruction, I'm not going to install any of this stuff. But anything that seems interesting to you, you can uh, read about it, Just click on the more info and then you simply click install when you find one you like. I'm just going to close this. Uh, this little button here will preview the uh, my code in uh, Chrome for myself. That's my default browser, so whatever your default browser is on your operating system, it'll preview in that. And uh, I don't need to see the sidebar, so I can just squeeze that closed. And for my view, I like to use a dark theme. A little easier on the eyes. I'm going to leave my font size at 16 pixels so it's uh, easier for you to read and I'll choose done. I don't need to see this. Update successful. Now I'm going to quickly create a new document. So file new, control N is your shortcut and I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to save it in my documents under, I'm going to create a new folder called websites and I'll put all of my websites in this folder. Press uh, enter twice, that'll put me inside of that folder. So I'm in libraries, documents, websites. I'm going to create a new folder called Lander, my last name. You can use your own last name or mine, whatever you like. And then inside of that folder I'll create a folder called images and I'll create a new folder called CSS. So I didn't press enter a second time after creating those folders. I didn't want to go inside them so I'm inside Lander. There's CSS images and I'll call this file index.html. Now I've already downloaded the images. Uh, just choose save. Now, I've already downloaded the images from uh, the uh, Learn course, so I'm just going to navigate to that folder, and then I'll paste that archive into the Lander folder. I'll unpack it. Since I already have an images folder, all of the unpacked images will go inside of that images folder. So I'm just going to open up my file browser, Finder on Mac, uh, Windows E will open up this file browser. Let me just 
put it into your view here. There we go. Again, documents, websites, lander. And there's my index that I just created. Images CSS. So again, it's inside of the lander folder, inside websites, index.html. Notice all of the file names are lowercase. So I'll quickly paste that archive. And now when I right click and choose extract here, it creates a Mac OS. Mac OS X folder. I don't need that. I'm just going to delete it. Just press delete on my keyboard with that selected. And I no longer need that images. Now if I look inside of images, you'll see they're all there. And I've also got a brand folder inside of images with a bunch of branding images. And we'll be using those later on. So just to recap, what was done with brackets was I quickly created a new document after I changed a couple of settings on brackets. I saved it as index.html inside a folder named Lander, inside a folder named Websites, which is in my documents, and that alongside index.html is a folder named Images which I unpacked all my images into, and a folder called CSS. Thanks so much for watching.